Hey guys, this is just a short overview and kind of an introduction of what's inside the pack. As you can see, there are a bunch of smart materials for camouflage, for fabric, for leather, for metal, and for other kinds of things. Then we have a bunch of alphas, like screws, tech shapes, vents and hinges. And then we have a bunch of height fields for metal, fabric, leather, and IDs for camouflage. But first things first, let's take a look at how to set them up in Substance. What you want to do is go to your settings, go to your library, choose the um, path here where you extracted the files to, and then give it a name. Then press on this little plus icon, and it will show up like this one here. Okay, let's start with the smart materials. To take a look at the smart materials, let's just open up a flat um, plane with a tileable texture on top, or uh, with a tileable wheel head on top. Let's make sure we have a PPR shader. Let's make sure we have um, displacement here. Not too high displacement, 0.1 should be fine. And let's just drag on one of the materials. So as you can see here, this has height information, this has color information. One thing you can change on all the materials is the base layer that has the base input. You can change this to whatever input you want. So if we just change this out, as you can see, it changes the breakup between the colors and the height information. Also, we can change the scaling up here. So let's make it bigger, for example. And if we make it bigger, we might want to add more volume to the height field. So we can just choose this layer that's in every one of those um, bottom layers and we can just choose how deep the height goes basically. But let's go back to where we were. So that's the base layer. Then on the camos we have this camo input where we can just choose different input maps here. And they adapt and here we can just change the um, the colors we want to use for our camo. On the very top of every material we have this normal strength layer which just um, is what it is it's a normal strength so you can just choose how strong the normal map is at the end. Okay that's basically the same on all materials we have here. There are just some examples that are different. So let's take a look at one of them, which is the metal, for example. As you can see here, it has height, like all of them have height information. It has some height information here. It has some color information. Um, this one is pretty much the same again. One metal that's different is this metal, for example. It also has height information, but as you can see, it has black holes here. If you don't use uh, opacity on your model, you can just leave them black. But if you use opacity, you can make sure to add um, the opacity in the, uh, choose the opacity shader, I mean, sorry. So we just choose this opacity shader here. And then we just need to make sure to add the opacity as a layer. And then this actually has holes. That's for all the metal materials with holes, in fact. As you can see here. Again, we can go in, change the pattern, change the tiling, as you want, basically. Also, we have different kinds of leathers. As you can see, this is more of a snake leather maybe. Again, we have the pattern here. We have a color, we have roughness, we have the height again, and some details on top that you can change. Let's just take a look at some. Here we have another natural leather, but we also have things like couch 
leather so embossed leather like this Okay, there are some materials that don't follow the rules I just explained to you, like with the pattern on the bottom and everything. And those are the shaders I created for specific assets, like this metal shader, for example. As you can see here, looks um, quite good on this asset. So what you wanna change in here, if you apply it to asset, is the size of things. So if those dots get too small or too big, make sure to go in here and change the scaling of them so they're bigger or smaller, whatever you need. That also counts for the scratches, for example. The rest should be fine. You can also change the size of the fingerprints um, so they're actually the size of fingers compared to the asset. But it's fine for this guy. One thing you can change is um, or paint is little um, dents basically by just painting inside this layer you can create small dents in it okay cool another thing we can move on top is this painted one so painted metal which just adds, yeah, as it says, painted metal on top. One thing you can change in here is the color, but make sure to change both of those textures. So it actually fits. So if we go green for this one, we also need to go green for this one. That's basically the painted metal. And then on top we can add rust, for example. And as you can see, it already looks kind of cool on the rust. I wouldn't change anything, it's just a rust layer on top. Okay, another thing I created for this asset was the wood. So if we just drag this on. can see we have a base at the bottom things you want to change are the desaturation I chose it with this gradient and put it there where um, um, the most wear and tear would happen so it's desaturated there so we can just change this to the size of the grip basically move it around where you want the grip to be basically to be desaturated. Also on top we have these darkened edges which are just moved where um, the wood meets different materials so it darkens there a bit. Okay and on the very top we have this varnish layer which allows you to add some varnish basically. If you want to change the color on this we can also do that and it looks like this that's for those materials another set of materials I created were for guns so we have the gun steel for example which yeah is where it is it looks like steel and another one I have is the gun metal things you wanna maybe changing here is the direction of scratches if you need them or you don't need them or rotate them however you need it and another material i want to show you is plastic i used for this guy for example it's the plastic one it looks like a worn plastic with some dents and everything things you want to change on this guy is the highlights if they are too big for you you can just go in change the, the highlights and make them smaller also if it's too much um, scratches you can just get rid of them yeah. okay those are the metal materials 
the last thing I want to show you are some alphas we have in here. So let's just choose the standard brush. Let's apply one of those alphas and let's just um, just paint the height and just paint it in. As you can see, I have again um, displacement enabled. So they all look like this. Let's take a look at some of them. We also have some um, techy kind of things like those guys, for example. You can also go into the minors with this, make more sense. More stuff like this. Can make this even harsher. So things like this we have in here. We also have hinges here. kinds as you can see here also we have some vents for example if you have any of this Oops. like this for example yeah that's basically the alphas we have And that's basically everything that's in the pack. If you have any questions, just drop me a line on ArtStation.